Ellen Murray. And I'm Brendan Clark. Officials believe a string of armed robberies and kidnappings in Colombia were racially motivated. A 15 and 17 year old have been arrested. The Richland County Sheriff's Office says victims at two apartment complexes near USC were held at gunpoint, robbed, forced to withdraw money from ATMs, and threatened with violence. One of those victims is from right here in the Low Country, and she says that she was threatened with being sexually assaulted. She escaped by jumping out of her moving car. I thought back to my mom. Um, she, uh, excuse me, um, she was almost a victim of sexual assault when she was in college, and uh, she fought back and fought the man off, and I thought, you know, I'm going to be strong like my mom, and I'm going to get myself out of this. Jordan Dinsmore goes to school in Columbia, but grew up right here in the Low Country. News 2's Libba Holland spoke with her mother, who still lives right here in Mount Pleasant, about her daughter's incredible escape. It is this call. The phone rang about 1 o'clock in the morning. It's the call that worries almost any parent. And it was Jordan on the phone, and the first thing she said was, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Then Beth Turner listened to her daughter's story. Got out of her car, and she said the minute she closed the door, they jumped up from behind the car next to her, and she said they were on her. She said her knees buckled. Jordan was threatened at gunpoint. Turner says the men made Jordan drive her manual car to an ATM. She had to unbuckle to reach the ATM buttons, and she thought to herself, I'm not putting that seatbelt back on. I may have to jump out of this car. I had always told her, don't ever let somebody get you out of the public eye. Advice Jordan remembered. While they were saying, pull over, turn around here, she put the car in neutral, jerked the car door open, and jumped out. I, I knew she was a tough, smart, bright girl. I didn't know she had this in her, though. I didn't know she had this in her. Now, Beth's message to other parents. Talk to your kids, even if you think they aren't listening. You, you know, as a parent, you tell your kids stuff all the time, and you don't know what they're listening to, you don't know what they're paying attention to, and to hear that, you know, all my dumb, boring stories, you know, that she actually was listening, and that was what was with her in her head, that feels really good. Jordan is a rising junior at USC, majoring in, get this, criminal justice. Her mother says after having this experience, Jordan is considering now becoming a victim's advocate. In the studio, Libba Holland, News 2.